I was picked up from my hostel at nine o'clock and driven to the bus station where I am now. And I have got about 35, 40 minutes before my bus. Everybody else has gone on the earlier one, but for some reason I was booked on the later bus. So hopefully it's a good journey. I have to say my tummy is not feeling the best. I've had a really bad belly ache for the last day or so. And an eight hour bus ride is not really where I want to be. But hey ho, I'm sure we'll get there in one piece, hopefully. We've stopped for a half an hour pit stop and this is one of the nicer pit stops it really is it's got a nice array of different foods and some really clean toilets as well I've had a brilliant trip so far really comfortable and I tell you what this service station is really nice as well and this is my little sleeping pod you can just see my cardigan sat there just arrived on the outskirts of Ho Chi Minh but I'm still about an hour away from my hostel. So there's a gentleman at a desk over there and he's just organizing a shuttle bus, be or not, but it's now included in the price of the ticket to get us onwards to closer to where our hostels are. Oh my word, I am now walking from the bus station in this madness. Give me strength. Thank goodness for that, I found it. I can't wait just to get in the front of myself on this bed. Do you want to have a look? What the absolute, I've got, <laughs> this is a single room, it has got air conditioning, but it's a fold out bed. And a, a private, oh, the bathroom's almost as big as the room. Well, okay, the idea was to book here to be able to work for a couple of days. This is musty and horrible. I think I might cut my losses tomorrow and move. The bed is on a spring action thing, which is really heavy, but I can't actually open the door. So you can't get out which is a complete fire risk. But because of the weekends, they've got no other rooms. So even though I was absolutely exhausted after my day of travel on that bus, I decided to get up, go out and go and have a look to see if there was any other accommodation nearby. Natalie had told me of where she had stayed and I didn't think it was that far. So I went out, looked for some food and to see if I couldn't find somewhere to move to. This is my second check-in of my second accommodation in one night. Thanks for the heads up on this one, Natalie. I've changed hostels. This is my new one. Two showers, a toilet, and it's a full bath dorm with aircon. And I'm down there. This one.
just down here is where I've been staying. Good morning, everybody. This morning, I have come down to the War Remnants Museum. It was 40,000 to get in and then 80,000 if you want to do have the um, earphones to put in to hear all about it. So I've done both. When you first come in, there's a array of aircraft and tanks and helicopters outside. The wingspan on this helicopter is just immense. Look at that. You start the tour on the second floor at Historical Truths, just behind me there. Wow, that was one of the most harrowing museums I think I've ever been round. I definitely chose wisely for lunch today. So this is the one that I've ordered here, this one. I stopped at just the right moment because it's now pouring with rain. Walking down from the restaurant that I stopped in, I've just found this street food market. Gutted I didn't stop here, but they do do ice cream, so I might stop for one of those. Changed my mind about the ice cream. It was 70,000, which although it's not a lot, I know that there is another shop that does it for a lot cheaper. So walking straight down from the War Museum, I'm just passing here the Ho Chi Minh Museum, but I'm a bit museumed out because it was quite a lot at the War Museum. And I'm continuing down here to the shopping mall. A little bit of light relief. So I've made it to the Saigon Centre, which is the indoor main shopping mall. Okay, just got to cross this road and then I'm back. <laughs> Wish me luck. Well, that's not ideal. I've come down to the tallest building in Saigon to go up to the top to have a look at the view. And as I was and as I was on the grab bike coming here, the heavens opened and it started raining and the visibility is zero. 